Welcome to the Orange Kettlebell Club video blog, your spot for weekly wellness and kettlebell sport performance tips and reviews. My name is John Harshman and today I'm going to be talking about dealing with back pain in kettlebell sport. For some of us who maybe are, you know, going towards the top of the hill, getting closer to 40 years old or over 40 years old in kettlebell sport, we deal with back pain and, you know, wanting to be competitive and deal with the heavy weights in kettlebell sport, we got to be able to have some tools in our toolbox to help us deal with that pain and help us stay loose. So two things specifically I address when I'm warming up is I attack the multifidus, which is kind of like the back strap, muscly back strap of the back, and the psoas muscle, which I'll show you in a minute. But the one thing I do for the multifidus, uh, my chiropractic friend Andrew Zappala, a Valente chiropractor, showed me, um, because he would use his elbow or his thumb to dig and go laterally what seems like the oblique, but he'll dig right into the multifidus, which again feels like the back strap of the back, and you pinpoint some of those muscle spindles get very tight, and he would pin them down and do some active release therapy where he'd pin it down and then move me through a range of motion and help stretch it out. Worked very well, but I had to think of a way I could do that at home when I couldn't be a chiropractor. So what I do is I set up a barbell, something solid, something small in the surface area, and I uh, set it up so it's between the rib and the pelvis. So you don't wanna be on the bone of the rib or of the pelvis. You wanna be in the meaty area, the oblique. From here, I take my arm up over my head to expose that meaty area. I'll lean, and you really gotta breathe because this will take it out of you pretty quickly. Lean the big meaty area into the bar and just let your body sink into it. And from here, I'll rotate forward and backward very slowly until you find it. And typically, if you're having somebody do this, their eyes will tell you everything you need to know. You'll know that they found the area that's very sensitive. And when you find that area, just make sure you breathe. You don't want to create tension. Like in kettlebell sport, you gotta breathe, you gotta stay loose. When you're trying to dig into these areas, it can be very painful. So to make sure that you're not tense, to make sure that you can actually dig into that area, you gotta breathe. I usually spend about three to five minutes per side. When I find that area, like it is right now, I try and take the arm up over the head, maybe grab a bar up over my head, expose it even more, and breathe. You may have one side that has more tension than the other, this is my good side. The other side makes me want to cry. So what I typically do, and I should have started with this, is I'll do a test retest. So I'll just do some slight rotations from side to side and I'll find out where I have any tense areas. Right now, I feel like I have pretty free motion to the left. To the right, I feel like I have some restrictions and that's pretty typical for me. So. I'll go both sides, I'll find out where they have the restrictions, and I won't do it today because I'll have to turn my back to the camera, but I would address the right side of the body, and I would bend myself in the bar, loosen up three to five minutes, and then I would do a retest, and I would go left or right, and I typically will find that I'll have a much greater range of motion moving to the side that I previously had restrictions. So then I know it works, and a lot of times I'll actually get a back adjustment out of it. So this would be attacking the multifidus, using a barbell for myself. The next thing I'll do to attack the psoas muscle is I'll use a playground ball. This is Jake and the Neverland Pirates. It's a very soft ball, it's not hard. I'm not using a soft ball, I'm using a ball that's soft. So make sure you know that. If you use a soft ball, this could cause a lot of pain probably. So to attack the psoas muscle is another muscle that uh, attaches on the spine and goes into the femur. It's very difficult to get to yourself. Sometimes people use a lacrosse ball. I like a little bit bigger ball that's softer and uh, the body can kind of melt into and can attack certain areas that uh, I think the lacrosse ball cannot. Um, you want to start right below the, and I'll lie down on the ground so I can show you this. I'll start below the rib cage, right on the rectus abdominis, which is the six pack muscle. I'll start there and I'll slowly work it down right above the bone of the pelvis. And I'll get, I won't take the shorts down for you here, but I'll sit right above the pelvis and I'll just sit and melt and I'll oscillate the body side to side, 
big breaths out, trying to let the body melt into the ball. It's a soft ball, so it can just dig into some very nice areas that maybe you couldn't get otherwise. It just melts into there. And from there, you'll probably find, and your eyes will tell you everything, whether you found, or pain will tell yourself, but if you're having a friend do it, the eyes will tell you everything, whether they found that area or not. You may have a rectus abdominis that's also tight. The transverse abdominis may also be tight, so you may find that out as well. So from here, I'm going to take the ball, put it right, hope you can see that, right below the rib cage. Again, make sure you're breathing, not holding your breath. If you create tension, you're not going to be able to dig into those really deep areas. And then from here, I'll slowly work, and I'm just going to move this for now so you can see up the pelvis. Man, the lighting is not well in here. So I get right above the pelvis. You can go forward and backward. You can go side to side to find the area. It may look a little awkward when a coworker or your wife comes into the room and it looks like you're making love to the ground, but you can assure them that you're just doing a gut smash. You spend about three to five minutes per side. Hi. Go to the other side. Maybe have a better angle here. taking the time to watch the video and I hope these techniques I've given you will help you if you're dealing with back pain. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks. Bye.